day. From M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. and the Baltimore Ravens taking on Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and m and Bank Stadium. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Tennessee Titans. Justin Tucker to kick off. Football. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans set to take over behind their quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. A terrific athlete started at wide receiver before becoming the starting quarterback at Texas A&M and also took his studies pretty seriously as well. He was a biology major at Texas A&M, planned to become an orthopedic surgeon, but being the eighth pick in the NFL draft, that paid just a little bit better. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And it's third down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. Allow me a second here to gush because in his college career, the only player in NCAA history to rush for over 1,500 yards and pass for over 3,500 yards in a season. And he did it twice. That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> Yet he only won the Heisman Trophy once. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. Well, oh, he's going to take a shot right away. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Good coverage that time by Malcolm Butler. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That first good for 20 and a first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Check. 
Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. And now he's going to use his legs. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Steps away to his left. He'll run it. First down and more for Jackson. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Jackson, the quick slant caught, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab, and the Ravens have taken the early lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They saw their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stump it. And we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. John U. Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. And it's third and short. Throwing again is Tannehill. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Jackson. 
open man is the tight end Nick Boyle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Now Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Nothing. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Play action. Now Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. But a good pick up there, a 22. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll run. It's Dobbins. It was Jack Crawford who brought him down. Now these two teams, of course, the Titans and Ravens, met in the postseason a year ago. And, and really, along with the Titans win the previous week in Foxborough, it was one of the shockers of the postseason. The Titans, a sixth seed on the road. The Ravens, they were the top seed, riding a 12-game win streak and coming off the first round bye. But when that game was all Tennessee, they led 28-6 at one point, ultimately winning 28-12 and sending them on to the AFC title game in Kansas City. And that is incomplete. Intended for Mark Andrews. Normally being a big bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make Justin the catch, on take the, the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. They pass up the three, fake it, it doesn't work. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. Well, I see what they were trying to do there. You pop up your holder, roll him out, you got the option to run or pass. This didn't work. Not at all. The communication was excellent defensively to make sure that receivers were covered as they escaped from the line of scrimmage because that's supposed to be a surprise to everyone, and that's how they get free. People forget their assignments on defense. That didn't happen. And think about the guy rolling out with the football, looking for an open person. No one there. Help us, really. Help us because that gap between you and defenders now is going to close and close quickly. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. A first down carry for Henry. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when he clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle him. That's what you're looking for. 
coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes. We'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. He finds Humphreys. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him six yards in the first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Tannehill throwing complete there to Humphreys. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. Tennessee. From the red zone now, Tannehill. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Goskowski with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. On second and nine, Jackson. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On third down, Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Bringing him down defensively, Jayon Brown. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 43-yard line. On second down, a run with Dobbins. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. First down. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, Let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Dobbins. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Forced out to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Jackson now off the bootleg. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Jackson, draw play to Dobbins. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. On second and 12, Jackson is caught right at the 10-yard line. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards and 1,000 or more rushing yards in the same season. And we see both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass. And everyone knew coming out of college he could run the ball. But for some reason, we didn't analyze it throwing the way we should have. I think every time he completes a pass, he says to himself, take that, evaluators. You guys really missed the boat on me. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it second and goal. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his loose. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Ravens have taken the lead. And I guess that's where you turn on fourth and goal to your muscle back there. Hand him the football. He does your dirty work. I think you're asking a lot of your defense there, right? Having to make the stand, have to prepare for just about any type of play to be called. And then here comes the power right at you. On that play, the big man got into the end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Justin Tucker to kick off four ball. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25 yard line. 
Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. Man, this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Eight yards on the screen there, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. It's taken to the 26. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards on the pickup there. And it'll move the chains. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens in control of the football. They've also got the lead as we get set for the fourth. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Jackson eluding the pressure right. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. Flushed out right. He's going to fire one. Corner of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. Des Bryant, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 12-yard line. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Buying time to his left. That's complete right around the eight. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens will extend. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? What was that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The, the only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. But it's caught on the right side, it's Smith. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. To throw again on second down. Tannehill looking for his running back, and he's got him. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Tannehill throwing again. He finds Corey Davis. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Tannehill with a throw caught by Brown. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. From the red zone now, they'll move to throw. And not able to get it that time. He hit on six straight passes. Not there, second down. It's second down and 10. To the air again, Tannehill. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Again, Tannehill. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And he's into the clear. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. And now the Ravens calling the offense onto the field here as they're going to go for two. After the interception, here's Jackson. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. And they turn the pick six into a pick eight with that two-point conversion. I love how you upsell. That is outstanding right there. What a big-time play. Big switch in how this game was going. And then they capitalize a little bit on top. This taken in about four yards deep. And no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waiting moments of this one. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Yards to go. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. On first and 10, Tannehill. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. First down, Tennessee. Throwing again is Tannehill, and he'll get this underneath to Henry. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Throwing again on second down, Tannehill. Flush to his right. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! Touchdown. Ryan Tannehill, 30 yards! And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit.
And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for Steven as Goskowski a runner, and he turned it into a nice gain. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. He'll try and run it. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.